using the ABC Library, the Complete German Commission E Monographs. The Complete German Commission E Monographs is ABC's English translation of the monographs produced by an expert committee formed by the German government to evaluate the safety and efficacy of more than 300 herbs and herb combinations. It was published in 1998 and is now available online to ABC members. You'll find it listed in the left navigation bar on ABC's website as Commission E. 24 professionals, including physicians, pharmacists, non-medical practitioners, pharmacologists, toxicologists, and biostatisticians comprised the Commission E Committee. They evaluated the existing traditional and scientific literature on herbs, component characteristics, and fixed combinations being sold in Germany and categorized them into approved and unapproved monographs based on quality, safety, and effectiveness of the herbal drug. Now let's look at the database itself. Once you click on it, you'll see a landing page. On the right side of the page, you'll find the navigation bar with links to the different sections of the book. In the introduction, you can learn the history of the German Commission E and find a list of its members. Monographs features a short explanation on how to understand the different sections of the monographs as well as the monographs themselves. Under Therapeutic Indexes, you will find information on uses and indications, contraindications, side effects, and pharmacological actions for approved herbs, and side effects and pharmacological actions for unapproved herbs. When you browse herbs, you'll see that they are listed in a variety of ways, including approved and unapproved herbs. Let's click on, let's click on approved herbs. Then you'll see an alphabetized list of all of the approved herbs. Let's look for echinacea by clicking on the letter E or scrolling down to the E section. You can see that echinacea is divided into root and herb and each is treated separately. This is because the available literature was on specific plant parts. Let's click on echinacea purpurea herb. You'll see that the herb record shows the pharmacopoeial name which is the official name of the German herbal drug and specifies the plant part used in the drug and on which the monograph is based. In this case, it's herba, indicating that the aerial or entire above ground part of the plant is used. It may say semen for the seed, redix for the root, phlos for flower, folium for leaf, or atherolium for oil. This is particularly important in cases where one part of a plant is approved while another part of the same plant is not approved. The monograph also shows the German name and the date the monograph was published. The name of the drug section provides you with the pharmacopoeia name and names of the plant parts referred to in the monograph. The composition of drug section includes information about the plant part, botanical name, plant family, required time of harvest, and in some cases, some of the primary chemical constituents. The use section shows internal and external applications of the herbal drug in clinical practice or traditional medicine. There is also a green button to the side allowing you to access a list of herbs with similar uses. The section on contraindications lists conditions or diseases for which this particular herb is contraindicated, meaning that persons with these conditions should not use this herb. Contraindications are classified by internal and external uses. As the Commission was concerned about the issue of the safety of pregnant and lactating women and children under 12 years of age, some of the monographs deal specifically with these topics. There is also a green button to the side allowing you to access a list of herbs with similar contraindications. The side effects section points out possible adverse effects. And again, a green button allows you to access a list of herbs with similar side effects.
Interaction with other drugs provides you with information on the potential adverse or synergistic reactions associated with the simultaneous use of herbs and conventional drugs. The dosage section contains information related to internal daily dosage, external dosage, dosage administration, and how long it should be used. The actions section describes how the active components of the herb work. If you return to the home menu, you'll find approved fixed combinations. Here are some of the herbs that, at that time in Germany, were combined on a regular basis for specific uses. For example, anise seed, marshmallow root, eucalyptus oil, and licorice root. These records contain the same sections as approved herbs. The unapproved herbs section lists those herbs that the Commission could not recommend for use due to a lack of evidence of the efficacy of the combination or when safety concerns outweighed the potential benefits. Overall, German Commission E is a valuable database for consumers, scientists, academics, healthcare practitioners, companies, and retailers.